Research conducted by Ministry of Health following reports of increased flu and cough in schools, out of the 198 samples taken in one of the schools in Wakiso district, 58 had influenza A and two learners had influenza B. We see these numbers, A, B, according to how it comes. Right now we have SARS-2, because SARS-1 case was discovered much earlier. So influenza A and B, they came in different sequences. But like uh, Dr. Henry has said, influenza A is more virulent, is more uh, aggressive. It affects mainly children who are under five years, but especially the infants, those who are below one year. We want to establish school medicine kits a small kit for these schools so they can support common ailments like malaria, common ailments like cough, common ailments like worms. So this small medicine kit is going to support these schools and will be distributed through the nearest health facility, that's our plan. So the schools will be taking this medicine through our nearest health facility. The Ministry of Education and Sports has now patterned with the Ministry of Health to fight this new occurrence of upper respiratory complications in schools. State Minister for Primary Education, Joyce Moriku Kaduchu, says school heads should comply to the state guidelines issued by the Minister of Health to counter the spread of COVID-19. We are calling upon school authorities to strongly implement adherence to standard operating procedures such as use of face masks at all times and high hygiene, hand washing, hand washing, hand washing in classes, dormitories, and all service points in all school environments. We are calling to action school authorities to improve and report early and follow up of cases and clusters by all schools. We are calling upon authorities to ensure students should maintain respiratory etiquette by covering mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing. And lastly, we are calling administrators to ensure students are kept hydrated by taking plenty of water or juice. In conclusion, we like to reassure the public to remain calm and vigilant in the wake of this outbreak of influenza A, as the country remains on high alert to avert any potential resurgence of COVID-19. We do not recommend closure of any learning institutions to prevent flu transmission. However, in extreme cases, in extreme circumstances, schools can only be closed with the approval and authorization of the Ministry of Health in conjunction with the Ministry of Education and Sports. The Director of Basic and Secondary Education, Ismail Molindwa, attributes widespread of flu and cough in schools to uncontrolled interaction of learners while doing co-curricular activities. We also guided and still guide and encourage schools to scale down on activities that will bring many learners uh, congregate at a certain point at a certain time. Officials from the line ministries of health and education had prioritized health of learners in schools top on agenda. Joshua Kagoro, UBC News.